disgusting. This has got to be the weirdest anime I've ever seen. <laughs> Yo, what is up everybody? I am Mommy Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel with a freaker. I'm sorry, last week's video was so late. I'm so sorry. But usually when I'm a piece of shit and a video is late, I try to make an extra video for you guys. So um get ready for this shit show. I this has gotta be the most disgusting anime I've ever seen. As you can see by the title, this anime is about smelly body odors turned into anime boys. What better way to capitalize? What better way to market off something? Turn them into anime boys, you see Disney do it. Now, whatever this shit is. These stinky armpit smells transform into handsome, beautiful anime boys in hopes of making Japan a better, more freshly smelled place. This anime is called Waki 7. With their flashy outfits, colorful hair, and huge range of personality, and instead of usual team anime groups, you know, that use like superpowers or swords and shit, no. These boys fight crime with their body odor smell. What is this? What is this for real though? And each of these seven characters of their team has a specific disgusting rose body odor smell. And we go get into this. The story of the seven smells comes from the incarnation of seven types of odors that lurk beside Japanese men. Or men in general, I don't know, that's just what it says on this thing. And each of these seven unique men manipulate their own weapons and what are they trying to achieve? Making Japan a better smelling place. First character we have here is Milk, who represents the milk smell, who freaking has a pacifier and fires oily, creamy liquid from his goo goo machine guns. How great is that? How fantabulous is that? I know on the screen it says Atsushi Aoki, but when I looked up the name, it was some Japanese professional wrestler. So I took off the Google Translate and I'm taking the direct kanji and translating that, and then we get the actual voice actor names. And remember the Google translations, but not all the time are they accurate. Voice of Milk will be Junya Enoki. And he has voiced Masami Saotomi from Boogie Pop, Shion Kiba from Card Fight Z, Takeru Takaishi from Digimon Adventure Try, Shikon from Children of the Whales, Hadakoto Fugo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, and Suzuki from Haikyuu, Osamu Kurihara from My Love Story, Hansel from Oz Mafia, Ryui Maita from Idol Master, Kunihiro Horikawa from Token Rambu, Keisuke Suji from Suzera Children, and Chisato Tachibana from Color X Malice. Y'all know I freaking fuck with Otome games so hard, oh my god. The next character we have is freaking Acid. First of all, who smells like Acid is my question. Representing sharper odors is Acid Smell with his pointy teeth. We all love a pointy teeth anime boy. Name me a better anime boy who does not have pointy teeth. I'll fucking wait. Hair and mysterious object X projectile weapon. This character is devoted to his experiments of the highest acid development. Can you make an acid? Apparently you can. And acid smell will be voiced by Sho Nogami, who has given his voice for the roles of for Naoki Minamo from Beyblade, Amamiya from Citrus, Yomi from Monsoto Anime, the Ojo Sama actor from Star Mew Season 2, Shiki Iseya from Idol Master, Ichiru Koga from Tsuki Pro The Animation, Ethan and Otomo from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc. This is like the type of character I would like. The next smell character is the Spice Smell, which this dude has a freaking machine gun, a gigantic spice. His weapon is the Gatlin Mel 23, in the famous Brave Perspective Sunrise Stance, as seen in countless mecha series. This guy loves cooking incomparable spicy food. This dude also has a strong love for cumin, which is a spice, I'm sure. And apparently that's what he shoots out of that giant bazooka or whatever that is. And spice will be voiced by Takeki Masuyama. And this man is given his voice for the roles of Suzaku Akai from Idol Master, Aldri Wolfsburg from Sword Art Online, and Shuichi from Gishiban Rohan, as well as Yuya Masaoka from Domestic Girlfriend, and 
Benedito from Chio's School Road. Next character is probably one of the cuter chibi ones. And this character is mold. <laughs> mold, that is disgusting. I would see, I would think he would be green, but he's purple. But then I kind of get it, because mold is like kind of that's disgusting. And the mold smell uses his musty wand to let him battle off terrifying stink cloud demons. But he is very cute. He's an adorable character. And his voice actor Shoya Chibi has given his voice for the roles of Akane Fudo from B Project, Kenji Jion from All Out, Surin Singh from Banana Fish. I fucking love Banana Fish. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. Kazuma Bobata from Haikyuu Season 2, Yuji from Owari no Seraph, and Ayato Akiyama from Idol Master, Kotaro Azumi from Tsukiga Kirai, and Kiyotaka. Long fucking ass name. I'm not reading that shit. Fun fact. He also voices Lucas Nickel from the Ant Bully, the Japanese dub. Also the voice of Mel, Junya Enoki also voices Spider-Man in the Japanese dub of the Avengers. I want to hear him say, I'm not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. Oh god, I'm sorry if I hurt you all. The next character we got is the Mushiniki smell, which is classified as a more sweatier smell. And Mushiniku literally translates to sweaty meat. Which is freaking disgusting! What is this anime? Which explains why he goes in with a wooden steamer box into battle. Cause that's gonna do a lot of damage. And Mushiniku is voiced by Hazuku Hatanaka. And this voice actor is given his voice for the roles of Hachiro Koga from Basilisk. I have no idea if I pronounced that right. I'm sorry if I haven't. Tenki! <laughs> Denki Kaminari from Boku no Hero. Fudo Nomura from Buso Shoujo Magia Velia Blafala Wawa. I don't, I don't know how to say that name. Hisashi Mori from Cheer Danchi. Toma Shinjo from Hoshiai no Sora. Taiga Kogami from King of Prism by Pretty Rhythm. That sounds dope, whatever that is. Ikoma from Kotetsujo no Kabanari. Yeah, something something of the Iron Fortress. Everyone got into it for a minute. I did not. I just never watched it. Reiji Mochida from Kuroko no Basketball Season 3. Daisuke Inoue from Nanamura Sanbatsu. Yu Nagami from Imoto Dakero Imoto Janai. Why are these anime names so long? Takeru from Pokemon X, Y, and Z. Legal Reefs from Attack on Titan Season 3. Hisota Sasamori from World Trigger. Next smell of anime boys on our list is the clammy smell. And this boy freaking rocks a story. Samurai type. Apparently his hair, clothes, weapon are all freaking wet and he believes that wet man equals sexy. This confirms freaking Oron High School Host Club when Tamaki's freaking reaching into the pool to get Haruhi's wallet and he's like everyone tells me I'm dashing with good looks bullshit. And this character believes that that's aesthetic and hot as fuck apparently. So his whole body is moisture. <laughs> that's so this is so weird. This is so gross. His weapon's literally a mop. How much- how do you think that will help you? And the clammy smell will be voiced by Atsushi Kosaka. And he has given his voice for the roles of Kenya Horikawa from All Out. Ooh shit, this is a good one. Estonia, Greece, and Prussia from Italia. I haven't heard of Italia in so long. Damon Spade from Katsukyo Hitman Reborn. <laughs> I love that anime so much. Hikaru Soma from Meganebu. Daisen Rokuriki from Nanbaka Season 2. I fucking love Nanbaka. If you know what Nanbaka is and love it, leave it in the comments. I fucking love that anime so much. Suji from Natsamune Yujin Chosan. Maisen from Tales of Zestiria. And Yoshizo Hayashi from Yu Gi Oh! 5D. Are each of these guys from like Yu Gi Oh? It sounds like every other one is from Yu Gi Oh! Which I don't mind. I fucking love Yu Gi Oh! He has also voiced Lord in Akame Got Kill. And the last smell we got here is the iron smell. The manifestation of the funky metallic y body smell. First of all, what body smells like metallic? I know like freaking rusty smelly shit, which I, I think is probably that. Because this dude's a fucking robot, first of all, so I'm pretty sure that's what they mean. And he's, yep, yep, because he's wearing a rusty suit. That's why. Wow. 
And this dude suffers from his own rust smell every day. He looks like a robot, but apparently it, the contents of it are human, so does that mean it's like rotten human flesh? No, why do you freaking smell, dude? <laughs> because he is human, he needs to bathe, so the iron deteriorates faster on him. That makes sense. Poor guy. And his weapons are integrated into his human body. And the purpose of building the strongest human suit the world has ever seen. And Iron Man, Iron Boy himself, will be voiced by Arthur Lozenberry, who is actually born in California. Holy crud. And he has given his voice for the roles of Kanata Kira from Aikatsu Stars, Tsukurai and Shinji Watari from Haikyuu, and Kaito Tsukigami from Star Mew. And all of these voice actors are from a group called 8P. And basically, from my research, this whole anime is a freaking sponsorship for deodorant. It, literally, it's on the freaking website. This anime is on the website of Gatsby, which is a Japanese premium deodorant. That's kind of funny. What better way of promoting your deodorant is make an anime full of cute anime boys. Should I expect freaking Axe to make an anime about fuck boys? Someone get on that. And all of these characters were created on behalf of the grooming product making company Gatsby. Which to me is madness. What better way to market your freaking deodorant? Freaking hell, man. I love that this is all just a sponsorship for a bloody deodorant company. I just saw this and I was just like, what the bloody heck is this? This is just gonna be some small little freaking marketing crud. I always love those. I don't remember what rule it is or anything when like people take like cars and draw them into anime boys. Fast food and they drew them into anime boys and girls. Like I love that shit. But I don't know about disgusting man body odor. It's a human thing. It doesn't matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this little extra video. I love talking about freaking new anime crud that's coming out and this was hilarious to me. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be multiple commercials is what this will be. It's gonna be the freaking marketing ploy because they're geniuses. But I hope you enjoyed this bullshit, whatever this is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye.